Hello everyone, welcome back to Velaxi Technologies DevOps series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Nexus on, a, on an EC2 instance. Before installing Nexus, let's understand what exactly Nexus will do. This is one of the official page from the uh, Sonotype. It is from the Sonotype, sorry, Sonotype. And here, if you see what is Nexus, Nexus is your artifacts manager. It stores artifacts. Artifacts nothing but once the uh, source code has been built, it generates a uh, artifacts which can be deployed into the target systems that we call it as artifacts. So it will hold up the artifacts uh, in the Nexus in our real time. And uh, if you want to know more about uh, what is Nexus, how does it work? you can go with this article or else a few other articles which can be available in the google so this is the document which is there in my github uh, to install nexus first you should have the prerequisites as uh, ec2 instance with java installed then we are going to uh, build, go with further steps i have already logged into my aws console and launched one ec2 instance for nexus uh, server and I have also logged into this system. Let's go and install Java. So before installing, let's become a root. Next thing, I'm just following these uh, steps to install your Java application. Sorry, Java. Just you can do this. Next thing is you need to download the Nexus stable version. There are a lot of latest versions. You can go to the Sonotype website and can download. But in this case, I'm using one of the version 3.0.2. So let's go to OPT because I'm going to download it under OPT. Wget. I have copied that as well. So it is going to download Nexus. Once it is done, unzip and rename it as a OPT slash Nexus. So it has been downloaded on JIP Nexus. Okay, tar minus JVXF Nexus. It is going to untar and unzip. Sorry, unzip and untar. Next, uh, MV Nexus to ne just Nexus version. Now, if you see, there is a uh, extracted one called Nexus. Let's jump into Nexus and we'll see. These are the required files to, to configure further. And it is a good practice to run a, your Nexus as a, a separate user rather than a root user. For that purpose, we are going to create a user called Nexus. So it could be easy for us to remember and uh, execute the steps and add this user to sudos i'm going to do va sudo and uh, if you go shift g to go to last page and wherever root is there i'm going to give the same permission nexus should have the all access to all he is going to get the root privileges Okay, and set the password for Nexus user. I'm setting some password. Right, I have created user, added him to sudo's file and given, uh, sorry, set the password. Next thing is we are going to give ownership of our slash opt Nexus directory to Nexus user. For that, just execute this command. Now, if you see ls minus ld slash opt slash nexus, it is owned by nexus user. Next step is uh, open this particular uh, file and uh, uncomment the user as, sorry, run as user. Uh, this parameter we need to uncomment and give the access to nexus, nothing but as a which user you want to run this particular process. So let's go to take this file, vi followed by file name. Here you have only one entry. You are just making it as a 
nexus because we are we want to run it as a nexus user that's it i have done the changes next uh, you can just add a, a link file so that you can run your uh, nexus service as a um, with the service command system ctl commands so i'm just linking it up now if you want to start you just need to become a uh, sudo user then start the service because we don't want to run this one as a root user that's why i have shifted who yeah my this is the command will tell you which user you are i'm a nexus user right now earlier i was a root user now nexus user next thing we are just starting the service let's go and start the service and let's see the service currently sorry status service nexus status okay next nexus is running right now and uh, to access this one from the browser you are going to use the port number 8081 make sure that you have opened that port number in the security group level let's go and see whether i have opened this one in my security group or not okay inbound 8081 right yes it is open let's try to access it just to taking the ip address of this nexus server and uh, the port number is 8081 8081 if you give you could be able to see the nexus repository and uh, by default it is going to show you the uh, nexus repository welcome page if you want to log in you can log in from here to log in just you need to give the username as admin and uh, admin 123 this is the default uh, credentials once you have logged in you can create the repositories to create the repositories uh, these are the default repositories assets and we can create it from here action yeah here you can create the repositories yes right this is the option to create a repository anyway we are going to uh, see how to create the nexus repository uh, for our purpose in the next video in that i'm going to discuss how you can integrate your nexus with your uh, jenkins server hope this video helps you and uh, see you in the next video